people that drive around with these flags are crazy. <clears throat> All right, I went to the St. Vincent de Paul and got some good food. It's once a month. Good stuff. Got a toilet roll, paper, paper, paper towel, paper towels. Two of these things. Uh, it turned down a lot, but, and they were scarce, at least scarce for the, pro, the like big produce stuff like potatoes or whatever. I broke an applesauce jar in here, so I had to try to eat what I could. One of these corners got into the uh, the thingy. Let's see if I can find it. Oh yeah, I got this this pound of salmon. It's frozen, so I'm gonna try to keep it protected. In a yeah, in a jacket. Oh, I got my milk in there. Maybe. All right, so this jacket's got milk, and maybe I'll just yeah, like salmon is cold. Add the salmon in there, and there we go. Protect both of them. Cool down. I pretty much have finished this stuff, this kombucha with uh, the chia seeds. It's a little too addictive. Uh, they don't, they do, they don't, well they don't freely admit to adding sugar. Raspberry juice, yeah raspberry juice is probably concentrated. It should specify concentrate or not concentrate. It's pretty good though. In my mile walk here, I was consuming it. It's kind of refreshing. These are things I want to eat right away. The salad, to roll of toilet paper for afterward. Guacamole. Oh yeah, the hummus. Ready snacks. And then raisins. These are government raisins, of course. Yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with the choices. This I gotta eat right away. This black bean from Trader Joe's. Maybe dip it in the last thing. It's tomato. Yeah, I got a few things to eat right away. And then hope that uh, whatever I don't finish for tomorrow, I'm gonna have to probably toss toss something. I I might have over grabbed. I noticed that when I go to the food bank. Like this one that I went to is like a mile away, and I bicycled there, and I bicycled as hard as I could. I bicycled so fast to get there, and I was out of breath, and discovered that I seem to have a little congestion in my chest, but it's like, I'm more motivated. It's like the thrill of the hunt, alright? Like, I'm, I know there's a kill to be made, it's like a guarantee. I'm excited for it, the time is right, <laughs> because the food bank is opening, or the the prey is is within my grasp, I know where to find the prey, I know the prey is there ready for me, and I'm a, I'm a little more excited to get over there as quick as I can, and I was out of breath and all that stuff, and then coming back, I took my time, I walked the whole way, I have a flat tire, but I'm not in a hurry to get back, I was just in a hurry to get there because it's kind of it's a semi semi uh, instinctive uh, <clears throat> trait from my ancestors uh, the thrill of the hunt but uh, it just has such a different ap application today <laughs> All right, it's a good deal. I got three spokes, and he only charged me for one. Who am I to complain? I also got a tube. And uh, I, 
white, they're black. So, but I think this black will probably scratch off. Get three new ones, one for the front, two in the rear. I just discovered those. And then I got an extra thick tube and that's why it costs so much. Uh, yeah, it should fit. All right, I just wanted to catch this. I guess it looks like you could stand on it. There's no signs that say you can't. And it might be to attract attention to Dixon's saddlery and music supply. Saddles and music. I should tell a cop. You're gonna give yourself a muscle pull stretching the law that much. Because they're always stretching it. I'm really struggling to find a bathroom. This is awful. I was gonna go to a 76 gas station, but there's a sign that said customers only, so I turned around. A lot of these gas stations in the town are going to be unfriendly to for bathrooms. They got to deal with the locals and and uh, give stiff, harsh um, rules against them. People walking by that don't offer any money. There's no money to be made from the locals. Maybe the thrift way. Uh, try the thrift way and see. It's very frustrating though. And it's it's not like it's the business's fault because I was it's my gut's fault because it just when I have to poop it just happens spontaneously. Actually it's kind of kind of uh, some exercise involved. I was like holding off on working on my my bicycle because I thought I knew that I'd have to poop at some point so I started exercising and that that dislodged something but I was like I was waiting and waiting I was, I was like hoping maybe that feeling would come when I was parked not at the library just gotta think that as harmful as this propane cooking has been to my breathing, uh, the regular fire cooking is um, probably better, probably healthier using actual actual wood because um, that lets you know when there's a big problem. It like it gets in your throat and it's it's it makes you breathe different. Um, compared to propane. Propane propane seems to get a little deeper into the, the system and I think that might be also causing the facial flushing, some breathing problems. Um, I could probably get through it in the summertime now that I can open up the windows again but uh, cooking in the winter time with propane it's just it's really dangerous because I, I closed the vents. I feel so dumb. I was, I was so busy putting this nipple on. I took the the, the covering off. This, this red covering that has to go back on. But when I took it off, the other broken spoke, the nipple fell in my trash pile somewhere in my car. And I don't know. I... I'd have to clean the whole thing out to find it. I'm gonna need to go. I think I'll just. I think I'll just uh, uh, settle on. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's <laughs> just a piece of paper, garbage. I'm gonna have to just buy more. Oh, it's glued.